Perry called it the highest of honors to serve the state of Texas for the past 14 years as governor. KXA and Sophia Beausoleil was inside the state house chambers for Perry's farewell address. With a wave, a fist bump, and a thumbs up, Governor Perry took his final bow as governor of the Lone Star State. It has been the highest of honors to serve as your governor for the last 14 years. Perry didn't waste any time on the podium and talked about what he has accomplished during his tenure. Since I became governor, with your help, we have created almost one-third of all the nation's new jobs. The unemployment rate in Texas is significantly below the national average. Perry talked about how the economy has diversified with the tech industry, entertainment, and energy. He gave words of encouragement about working across the aisle. Compromise is not a dirty word if it moves Texas forward. If members of this body will work across party lines, put Texas first, I believe the best is yet to come. Austin Democrat Representative Donna Howard says she has respect for the governor, but believes there was more to his speech. I think that his speech was uh, a, a very nice cap on his uh, service to our state, but also still pretty much seems like he's on the campaign trail. <laughs> Although it seems inevitable, Governor Perry hasn't announced officially if he's going to run for president. Reporting from the Capitol, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Governor Perry leaves office as the longest serving governor in Texas history. And to give you some perspective, he was first sworn in as governor on December 21st of 2000, when then Governor George W. Bush resigned before taking office as president. Perry was then reelected as governor in 2002, 2006, and in 2010. When he leaves office, he will retire as the 10th longest serving governor in U.S. history. Governor Perry announced he would not seek a fourth full term back in July of 2013. Now, another way to think about how long he has led the state is that children born when Governor Perry was first sworn in as governor are now in the eighth grade. Governor Perry still faces a criminal indictment on charges he abused his power. It is tied to his veto that killed state funding for the Public Integrity Unit after that unit's Democrat district attorney refused to resign after a drunk driving conviction. Perry calls the case a political witch hunt and says he'd issue that veto again. The next hearing in his case is scheduled for January 23rd at the Travis County Courthouse. Rick Perry's team term rather as governor officially ends next week with Greg Abbott's inauguration. We will have live coverage of the inauguration ceremony Tuesday starting at 11 a.m. here on KXAN.